Okay, welcome back. This is uh, part three of the video tutorial series to help you get through the zombie lab. Uh, when we left off, we had just reclassified our zombie buffer map to indicate the additional risk associated with more stores. Uh, I'm going to double click here on um, the store or the mall that had 285 stores which represents a greatly increased uh, risk of 29 percent extra casualties. I'm going to change that to red and click OK and so we can see that this mall down here in uh, southwestern or southern part of LA County actually represents a great deal more risk. The next step is to subtract this risk from the initial survival percent risk map. So um, this map was calculated um, based on essentially the risk posed by having a Taco Bell or multiple Taco Bells in your neighborhood. And we essentially want to subtract the variables from the buffer reclass layer from the variables, uh, the survival percent in the initial a wave of attacks from zombies. How do we do that? We're going to use one of the really cool functions in ArcMap, uh, the raster calculator. So click on the Arc toolbox again and from the Spatial Analyst tool select uh, the Map Algebra tool set which has only one tool in it, raster calculator. Double click on that to launch the raster calculator and uh, we'll start with a very simple algebraic expression or actually just a subtraction. What we want to do is to uh, double click on initial survival percent which places it down here in the calculation uh, or the formula window. Click on the subtract button and then uh, double click on mall buffer reclass. Double click rename this new layer uh, survival percent malls something simple like that and click OK let the raster calculator run for a moment and examine your new map well here's the new map and um, as you'll come to find out that every map created by the raster calculator uh, by default comes out in black and white and so these areas in the darkest color have the lowest survival rate down to 25 percent and that the areas in white have a high survival percent at 100 percent. I'm going to minimize our buffer reclass and we don't really need this initial survival percent map at all and uh, this is a good start. Be aware that even though this is something silly like uh, zombies, this is exactly the same kind of strategy that health geographers uh, would take to analyze the risk associated with a number of other diseases. Of course, we've only done Taco Bells and malls, uh, but we could add a great number of other layers to this uh, for zombies. Uh, alone we could add highways because zombies seem attracted to those and amusement parks are the other that comes to mind. Next, um, surviving a zombie attack like surviving other diseases means staying out of harm's way so there are certain areas or places that one could do that. Uh, you could in other diseases get for example an immunization. Uh, with zombies it appears to, uh, because they uh, walk so poorly or move so erratically, that going to the mountains or perhaps into a river or a swamp or out on a lake would be a helpful thing to do. So what we're going to do uh, to help you learn how to do this is to use the Roadster calculator again to create a conditional statement which says uh, essentially that uh, the risk map that you see on your screen is good up until people 
enter the mountains or uh, go up a steep slope. So, so the risk would re be reduced to zero in uh, steep areas and the risk would remain high in those areas identified on this map where it's flat. So click on the ARC toolbox and a raster calculator should still be available to you. Double click to bring it up. And what we're going to do is something cool called a conditional statement. So double click on the word con over here in the conditional statement box. Double click to throw it in here. And basically we're going to say uh, to start this conditional statement by saying or indicating uh, in the slope map anything that is over uh, a slope of the value 20, so greater than or equals to, uh, anything that is greater than or equal to a value of 20, assign a value of 100% survival. If it is therefore less than 20, assign the value established by the survival percentage in the mall. So double click on that and this is the correct formula. Uh, rename your output file something like uh, survival percent slope and click OK. Raster calculator runs. Expect a new map momentarily. Okay, so here's a new survival map now with the slope. If I turn it off momentarily, you will see uh, the old survival percent with just the malls and the Taco Bells considered. And uh, I'll turn it back on here, and you can see the effect of, uh, say, the Verdugo Mountains here in the uh, Burbank area. So I can um, uncheck the survival percentage from malls. It is no longer necessary, and now we're uh, just with the survival percentage of the malls, the Taco Bells, and now considering the slope of the nearby mountains. Because the black and white um, type of map that has been uh, is default in ArcMap. Let's uh, make it a little easier to read. Right click on survival percent slope, open the properties window, click on the symbology tab, and click classified. You may want to uh, change the number of classes to something outrageous like 20, uh, and then Click on uh, the color ramp to get something that um, is like red to green, where red represents a low survival rate and green represents a much higher survival rate. And click OK. It's just easier to see what's going on. You might also choose to um, make the transparency something like 50% uh, and that way you can see what's going on perhaps underneath this layer if you wanted to see the, the um, mountains or something. So these areas in the darkest color here represent a very low survival percent. Uh, take a moment to answer a few questions in Moodle. Okay, in the last couple of minutes, we will go over the very last step, which is to essentially calculate the number of zombies and or the number of survivors from the survival slope percent map, which I will uh, turn off for a moment. And um, we will calculate it against the population map. Now, the population raster here has for example, the number of people. So if we uh, turn off the zip code layer and take a look at this uh, census block group in Pacoima, we can see that it has in this raster area um, 4,450 people. 
and if we turn on our survival percent uh, map, we will note that it has a survival rate of about 80%. So of 4,450 people, 80% of those will survive in this area. So the last bit, in order to calculate the relationship between the two layers that we see, uh, open the ARC toolbox and the raster calculator once again. This formula is a little bit complex, so if you have trouble following it, make sure you take a look at the lab manual. The first part of the formula is a left or open parentheses, and we're going to ask it to uh, start out with the population by block group raster. We'll enclose that, and we'll subtract from it essentially a survival percentage two left parentheses to start the second half, double click population by block group raster, multiply that by the survival percentage slope that you just created a bit ago, close parentheses, a division sign, and 100 will give us a percent of survivors are a number of survivors that we will so subtract from the total population. That will give us the number of zombies. So rename this output raster zombies pop raster. Click OK and let the tool run. A new layer appears. Move the ARC toolbox. We can turn off the survival slope and the population layer. And let's zoom out here and we can see that the number of zombies is zero out in the areas away from Taco Bells in the mountains. Uh, but once again we're stuck with this poor uh, color ramp that works well for some things but not so well for this. So let's uh, right click on this layer, open the properties windows, click on the symbology tab, click on the classified. Uh, once again we can change the classification to something different. It's in natural breaks but we want to click on the classify button and um, let's change this to equal interval and perhaps uh, bump up the number of categories to something like seven. Click in the break value window and type one in the lowest break value. That will represent all the places that have the no uh, zombies. And let's type in here two five zero zero for 2500 and 3500 to uh, establish some areas of intense zombie activity and, well, really intense zombie activity. I click OK. And let's just change the color ramp here to uh, something green to red and perhaps this will allow us to better witness the, the places of intense zombie activity. Click OK and um, notice that there are several spots of intense zombie activity. One up here, one in the valley, one here near uh, Burbank and Glendale, and one over here. At this point you have finished the analysis you need to zoom in on each of these locations and answer some questions in Moodle. This concludes the third and final video tutorial for the zombie.